writer whose uh, spoken word performances take the form of guided tours and poetry readings that incorporate various encounters with language, including overhead conversations, digital correspondence, fictional dialects, and invented alphabets. He's delivered performances nationally and internationally, and he's currently a resident at the Hub, um, the Welcome Collection in London until 2016. He's also a member of the Disembodied Voice Research Group. And his week-long exhibition at uh, Fig 2 at the ICA closes tomorrow, where I think there'll be a, uh, another performance to mark the end of that. Reflecting on contemporary methods of remote communication, Coyle proposes an alternative form of verbal engagement, originating from research into the origins of speech and writing systems. So please join me in welcoming Patrick. sound from outside the window. It's a windy one, I mean, but I mean wanna, I mean I don't really know when to stop. I have to stop the dictation already because as well as the software not being able to recognize the words Volvo, there is also the problem, but I just said I don't know where to start. I don't really know where to start. And the dictation software translates to this as translate, to this as translated, this as I don't really know when to stop. I'll continue. Actually, before I continue, I should explain that I did not say mama. I did not, I did not say it mama. All but, all but, I said no, I sent mom, I said mom, and I said blah. Okay, that's closing off, close enough. Now I'm just intrigued to see how do with the actual recording being played to it. Go okay, that didn't really work. I'll continue with I started. Tyson. That was supposed to say hyphen. Um, to separate the last section um, from this section. It's a windy one. I mean, but I need mama. I mean, I don't really know what to stock. It feels good to be running low. I mean, mama. I mean, I, I recall what time was ready considering in terms of him my lines. I mean, when I say lines, I mean the, the form of federal engagement I chose to employ ye tomorrow with tight. I mean, today, obviously this is being recorded tomorrow, or rather today, or rather yesterday, Friday. Friday the 17th. It's interesting how the speed will change because typing, running, about talking, or talking and running for 1 minute 38 seconds right now, but I'm not sure what time will actually be. My speech is currently punctuated by dress, and hi begun with the I believe I've began with Bob and Mama. Also Mama, because I figured it would be good, good counterpoints or suggestions of, of the, I suppose, what I've mentioned, some research into the origins of speech and writing systems, so, so the button Mama Brady Roof too. I'll try it does a lot of things, the intensive well, so happens is, Coyle proposes. Okay, this is already working very well. No, this isn't really working very well. Rent, try something else. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try playing my phone into my hands-free microphone. Already hear me, no right, right. Okay, that's not really what, okay, that's already working. Okay, that's not really working either. <laughs> K, 
Tal proposes an alternative form of federal engagement, level of engagement, verbal engagement, originating from research into the origins of speech and writing systems. So, uh, so of course, earlier. So the book and the mama. I mean, nobody knows the order in which they first came. Have a nice little success. Try don't focusing intensive well. So what happens is, you agree to do a performance at the gallery and say, and they tend to ask you, what you up to the performance quite right? <laughs> I responded with something along the lines of reflecting on contemporary methods of remote communication, Coyle proposes an alternative form of Bible engagement, viable engagement, viable, viral bowl, comparable engagement, verbal engagement, originating from the research into the origins of speech and writing systems. So, of course, my first thoughts are with the repetitions within the phrase itself, which I mean the obvious forms of the form, the alternative form of, I suppose, it's a difficult one to work outside of said performance, sent somewhere I felt to send somewhere home, maybe that the Elliot Park. If he mentions Talia performances, they have something to do with guided tours. Past the park right now, I'm wondering whether I should present the whole thing out of of as a guided tour of the East Room at Martin, and it's now, it's already five minutes in, but I can't imagine this will have taken five minutes to read in at enough stationary fashion, with both feet on the ground as it were and without the punctuation of punting, which is occurring right now as I run through the park. So phone is a bit of a misnomer. Phone, I just, I guess, I regret the way home because it's a bit misleading, like the wedge research went, probably love being more honest just to say the word reading instead of research. Notes instead of phone, knocked instead of phone. Well, actually, that, that could be potentially more interesting than an alternative reading level engagement originating from reading into the origins of speech and writing systems. I guess that would be maybe readings just one of those words lets I could technically replace all the words with just one word. Or reading something about check oil will be reading obviously something that you have been more accurate been reflecting on contemporary methods of remote communication. Coil proposes a reading and then of course I don't know what doesn't originate from research slash reading into the topic of the origin of speech. Which really is all about topics. Arts about how humans initially danced to speak about topics because those without that wouldn't have been no reason to develop grandma or any kind of spoken structure. Well, of course, topics can also mean thinking about the future, which also contains a certain structure beyond merely reacting to present events like the animals. And this is, it's an interesting method of recording or fronting my performance tomorrow because, because you weren't here this, but I am obviously, I am not, I have this is my second reading two weeks and I'm of the singleton the best shape even though I'm only hitting the 8 minutes and 48 second mark. Quote, not necessarily slowing down speech to my thought pattern is certainly slowing down because of the breasts. <laughs> and I think something to do with the cognition intensive, but the great thing is, you will know that when you hear me reading this tomorrow, because I'll practice it today, and I'll probably, maybe I'll tidy it up a bit during the process of transcribing, as well as then this whole thing, I'll be questionable as a document of me running in the puck on Friday 17 July 2, 2015. Just to clarify, this document is being transcribed by a computer. As I speak to it, thus sitting on the sofa, as I speak to it while sitting on the sofa, drinking a beer, having just got home from a run. I would also like to clarify that no tidying up was done during the process of transcribing the recording I made while running. If anything, the process of dictating to a computer has actually messed up the whole thing. On the time of the stream of the type, because but the zoo is an interesting one, maybe that's the next points on the tour of the East Room at the tight, at the Tate, because the Budlier were really very much on the right east side of Regent's Park, but of course the zoo, well I don't know actually, maybe the zoo is right in the middle. 
I don't really know this park very well, but the zoo in my mind is way out west side of the park, west side of the park. Here's where I say embarrassing things like west side trade, west side, and, uh, and in order to embarrass myself while birds are already squawking, I'm not sure what that is due penguin school. Clegg left, I don't remember. I came here a year ago, I just over a year ago on my birthday, and it was a surprise, and I suppose going back to him, I mean, obviously, this is an alternative form of federal engagement. But then the real question is, what isn't an alternative form of football engagement? And what did I mean when I said that I mean verbal engagement? What I said that I mean, often I make things because somebody else says something, and hi, okay now, I'm to Camden, somewhere by the top of the zoo, and I'm going to keep going and see if I can make my way to the other side of the parking, discover where the zoo is, on the west, all right in the centre, or on a metre. And so that's often something that comes up as well, the either of us, that's all both on either our either call. And I suppose, Sarah, there is such a kneecaps now long pauses because they, because the people, because of the people, because the people are already passing by. And not that I want to, I gradually become self-conscious about that, and I'm not sure how much to say in front of them. And especially because I'm not just going at light speed, of light speed, of sound speed, that was the word. Thinking at the speed of thought, I mean, obviously we can't, nobody can speak at the speed of thought, and that really such thing as a stream of consciousness, I mean it's a pizza. It could be described as a method in the tree terms, or perhaps even in the realm of psychoanalysis it could be referred to, either the stream of consciousness could be referred to as a technique, but free association is probably more accurate in that context, actually, but also zebras, wow. And I see zebras just right by, very close to the road, and of course they, the stream isn't ready, that all isn't there at all. And we just think in waves or pulses isn't ready the act all. And we just think in waves or pulses, and then of course, as soon as those waves or pulses are soft, of five realized, they no longer well then somewhere near. I mean, I would never argue this as accurate depiction, or what's the word, not depiction, but I would even argue it's eyes as accurate illustration of stream of consciousness thoughts. It's just me thinking while running, and then saying some of the thoughts that come across my mind. For example, as I was saying that, I was actually thinking about some conch is growing on a tree, and the sculpture of Bench of a Lion, I dried a concord tree that was tossed chestnut leaf, the gun, very orange brown, and then connecting that with a wooden sculpture of a fox, which, as I was saying that, I was just really not thinking much. I was looking at a tennis court, and, and, and so on, and so on, and the BT Tower, and the two people wearing very similar t-shirts, and shots, and seagulls, and then the dark clouds gathering up in the distance, and the clear plastic cup, and I think that's a swallow in the trees, and so on. I probably shouldn't do that for the whole 20 to 25 minutes of speaking because, well, we're already at 16 minutes and 19 seconds, so I'm not still really sure how that's going to translate. And I'm also not really sure if I have time today to transcribe the whole thing because that's already probably a good hour and a half of writing because I'm not that fast and I don't have... Oh, well, maybe I could try the speech software book even. That will probably involve me speaking while speaking, while listening back to this within phones, and then speaking it back to my computer more clearly, that my breathy, slurry voice. And nuts, one of those things, that can't be and can't be illustrated or depicted. Going by the method that I've chosen to present to you today, I'll rather today because I don't know whether probably work pants because I don't know, it might seem a little disingenuous, I would rather try and read this as in, as and as of this meaningful a way as possible. I don't really understand what I'm saying now, and as as meaningful a way as possible, so what you're really witnessing is a salted process of writing out loud, where I obviously have not the clearest, I don't have the clearest conception of what I have already said. And I went over a bridge and there's a fountain and you probably, you have got to have a motorbike again. Unless I brought in some special sound effects, but I don't think that would really do it justice and even if I did, that would, you still wouldn't be able to head to the smell, the A-G, the achy, the achy, achiness, the achy oxy, the moron, no, the oxidized, 
I don't know if the smell of the pollen I just run past. And you wouldn't. There's no way I could ever recreate the way S1 know a goose. It's a goose just picking something up and it speak very quickly and lost grant of it. Then whatever the thing was, it spun away out to Vicky the goose. It was a quiz. It was a goose way out of the goose's reach. And so obviously the case's reach sounds better and more calm. Because buts, it's not necessarily the most appropriate thing to be saying right now. Because going back to the B initial statement, timing that does tend to happen. There are things people have said to me. And I'm sure that you probably feel the same way, that people say things to listen, that words, words, really the words continue to resonate for quite some time. Perhaps all our lives we remember certain things that's of being sent to us during our alley lives, at childhood and beyond to the seagull, and the geese among the crows, and the heron to harems, 33 through <coughs> harems. Wow, I don't think I've ever been so close to a heron in my life. It's about to meet your away, it's not ready moving, perhaps they can't see fast moving objects. Ah, oh, I know that's not true. <laughs> but we do ruminate on these things, and I do, once I give a statement like that type, take it very seriously. I mean, I, I feel like I should apologise. I mean, I spent a long time writing this whole story about how public speaking and who was a seven pots. It was taken from a seven pot, a seven parked, the seven part advice piece on how to speak publicly. I mean, how to, I don't even know how to say it now. I'm getting quite tired, even though it's only 21 minutes and 20 seconds. Book, the piece, is really about how to it twist tips on public speaking in seven steps. And that was something. That was something about speaking slowly. And that he, the author, claims that you could probably speak even with longer than one to two second gaps. And that is exactly what I'm doing now. But I don't know if I want to do that tomorrow, or rather today, now, as I'm speaking to you, and of course I will, I want to stick to this as a script. But there is a chance I might edit Button, probably keeping most of the really bad debt derivational stuff, just to make you believe that the whole thing is real. But of course, why would I say this? We, uh, would I include this in the final speech because I could just delete what I just said? Because that makes the whole thing sound completely invented. But then of course there is the digital recording, and that which I'm recording on an iPhone with a hands-free kit, and obviously I mean aside from people seeing me, as aside from having eyewitness testimony in some way, which seems unlikely, because I don't imagine I've bumped into many people I know in this park, and there is certainly the time-coded and dated digital file for my iPhone voice recording, and the room is ready just a way of calming myself down in advance of the performance. Because of course, of course I get nervous beforehand, and of course that's one of the points the author raises. And there is this, those, there's always this record actually, that is always this record, maybe Atlanta, or depending on the time, maybe I'll continue, because just coming up to 24 minutes and 33 seconds now, and I wonder actually, I don't know, that's when I don't know when I started a clock, when I started speaking, or identify run a bit and then started speaking. It's always a blast right now, and I don't know. I want to claim I'm running quite fast, but I'm probably not. It's probably actually slower than usual because of all the thinking. And I'm getting a stitch in our rights in the center of our belly, and, and that, hats, that hurts, I think it's probably important that I keep going and try to remember where I was now. I'm trying to remember where I was. I can't remember where I was. What was I saying? I mean, of course, I would love to deliver the performance at the same speed of this performance, and of course, we are both performances, and one, one will be public, hopefully, tomorrow, and this one, well, this one is public. Arguably more public than the one tomorrow or around the day, because that's the amount, I mean, the statement is based on the amount of people I've run past today in the pub, which is many. And of course, <laughs> it's still as well, it's a form of verbal engagement. I'm still not really sure what time, and by alternative, and I haven't really addressed the word proposes. Intensive. 
I don't know why I'm saying in terms of, I'm not referring to hello, I am referring to Time's books, I don't think that's the most accurate phrase to use, but I'm just by, just by speaking this way, on my proposing an alternative form of five full engagements, I'm not sure. Because the thing Oliver explained was that the man in the bar, I think I set the bar and the mama, but I really meant them in the bar because of something I wrote, which really played on the idea that the first sound was the mother for mama and the desire for milk, and the ancient word for water, so hunger, and the first really being the first lip-smacking form of verbal engagement, which obviously originates from reading into the origins of speech. I didn't really mention writing systems, but I suppose that's what's going on to come next, because, well, when I'm transcribing a long speech, is that a form of research into writing systems? Or did I mean by that statement something along the lines of the origin of writing systems? So research into the origins of writing systems, as well as research into the origins of speech itself. Not really sure, but one thing I do know is the time on my watch now says 28 minutes, 47 seconds, so I do hope I'm not overrunning today. Obviously, overrunning was not a de 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 deliberate choice of words, choice of words, choice of words, singular, because obviously that comes more down to my knees. Done to the reading speed tomorrow, or rather today, and I do you say in terms of quite a lot, and I, I should probably break the habit. And of course, this involves me running, running home now, running back to where I'm staying at least, and how I don't know whether the statement has already been addressed. But of course, that's what this is. This is me trying to work out, not Sunday walks I've said I'll do, but it's also what I'm doing right now. By which I mean both right now while running through the park, and also speaking to you now. Let's 30 minutes and 17, 18 seconds, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you for listening.